Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Balloon Servant 5 Steam. Uh, in between this episode and last episode, I switched over my specialty building to the Ninja Monkey. And uh, this is going to be quite interesting with four different entrances. I was assuming it would just be two, but if it's double double cross, then I suppose that makes sense. Um, so if they're coming in from four different directions, then uh, that's going to be kind of interesting. Um, I think I'm going to... Mm, I, I, right now, I already know I want to have four different um, ninja monkeys, like, in little cross-sections, just that it's easier for them to to target the different sides. Um, I'm going to do Seeking Shuriken, because that's going to be a little bit better than the Sharp Shuriken at the moment, uh, because the Sharp Shuriken would be better if it was just, like, one path that they're all clumped together on, but because this is multiple paths that um, they're clearly not clumped together on then the sharp shuriken's not going to be quite as helpful at the moment. Um, man, like, <laughs> I'm not sure if that one ninja monkey is going to be enough, uh, because I do need the faster attack speed. Um, and I could upgrade into the double shot, double shuriken. But I think it would be a little bit more expensive than just buying another ninja monkey at the moment. I know in general it's more cost effective, to just buy one and upgrade one, but at the moment, uh, I'm probably doing the, the incorrect thing and buying a second Ninja Monkey and going for another Ninja Discipline and then going for a um, Sharp Shuriken or the Seeking Shuriken. So I think that was probably the wrong decision, but um, it's a decision I'm going to live with nonetheless. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna need lead popping, which obviously I don't have yet. Um, Ninja Monkeys can learn lead popping, but for this track in particular, I would not want to use their lead popping upgrade because it just doesn't seem like a thing that I would want to use. <laughs> like, I mean, I never really used the flash bomb. Um, let's see. I could try using glue gunner for my anti-lead, but that'd be a bit more risky because I'm everything is coming down to this one area before I'm actually popping anything. Which, my towers have done a good job so far of actually popping everything, so I don't need to worry too much about that. I think I'm either going to go with a wizard or a bomb tower. I think I want to go with a bomb tower for this one. Um, specifically a balloon impact bomb tower. Yeah, I've already got camo detection, so I don't need to worry about, um, about round 24. So really the only thing I need to worry about is, uh, is the lead popping. And Ninja Monkeys are pretty good at the fast firing, in terms of a, a fast projectile, I mean. Um, so I don't need to worry about the pink balloons or anything like that. Uh, let's see. So then once I get the, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, uh, balloon impact, or not balloon impact, the cluster bombs, that's what it is. Um, then I won't really have to worry too much about any lead or clumps, because then it'll have that large area of effect to take care of the lead. Um, and I, the reason I wanted that one in particular, um, the cluster bomb, is because even though I'm going to be firing like right here in the middle, generally, uh, whenever the balloons get to that point, they are coming from four different directions, so having a bigger range or area of effect um, is going to be pretty helpful. Alright, Haina, uh, video finally started loading for you. I should probably have chat on screen, but on the other hand, I kind of feel like no one's really talking that much, so it wouldn't really be that necessary. Um, and I can just read out whatever someone says in the comments that I'm responding to. Because um, again, just for the sake of saying it again, uh, I am live streaming at the time that I am recording a YouTube video, so for everyone on stream watching, yes, this is going to be on YouTube, and for everyone watching on YouTube, yes, this was recorded live on live stream. Um, but anyways, I uh, can get larger blasts and the missiles, so that I don't need to worry about pink balloons, even though I already don't need to worry about pink balloons because of the uh, ninja monkey, but then the missile launcher also increases the attack rate um, by a little bit, so that's nice. Um, so I have lead and camo detection. Uh, I don't specifically have camo lead detection, but it's just uneasy, so I don't need, don't need to worry about that. Um, let's see, what else do I need? Um, I could use a, 
a balloon chipper for my anti can or anti Moab, but it's not going to be as necessary right now. And I do. Oh no! I lost some lives. Um, let's upgrade these into double shot. Well, upgrade one into double shot. Should have done that earlier. Um, and I probably would have saved those lives at least a little bit. Well, maybe I had distraction. Um, or if I had waited on the on the um, on the missile launcher. But I only lost 12 lives. That's not that big a deal. If I lose like 50, then that's a bigger deal. But still not a huge deal. Um, can I get double shot on this one as soon as I can. Because the problem is the higher tiered like zebra or black and white balloons. Um, Haina, don't use improper language and then say sorry for it. Just don't use the language. Like, come on. But, um,. Uh, anyways, um, uh, what am I saying? That's right, now it's lead, um, but the, uh, the black balloons and the zebra balloons are a little bit of a problem because the, uh, missiles are firing on them but not doing anything, obviously, and then it kind of has to wait for the ninja monkeys to get closer in order to, um, or for them to get closer to the ninja monkeys before they fire and whatnot, but anyways, um, it's already around 30. I do want some subs. So those are really good. So I think I will get one down here. And I get some advanced intel so that they can fire on the balloons up there as well. Um, then I feel like I need more range on the on the track if I'm gonna be using um <clears throat> I'm gonna be using the what should we call it? The subs with advanced intel. I kind of want to use the engineers again um, to add extra range onto the uh, onto the track, or to add extra track coverage, basically. Um, I don't need to worry about this round because it's just a bunch of camo balloons that my two ninja monkeys can easily handle. And again, I know that it's more cost efficient to just buy one and upgrade it singularly rather than buy two, but specifically because the track was split into four pieces, I wanted to have two points of not points of contact, that's not the right word. Um, two, uh, two forces that were fighting- or, what? <laughs> I don't know how to, um, how to explain this. I wanted two towers that could aim and fire separately, or independently, so that I didn't have to worry about that, or whatever. But, um, actually, Hyena, I have not seen Fuzzy in a while, but I haven't streamed in a while either, so that makes sense. Um, let's see. There. Barb darts, and then, uh, <laughs> I said barb darts for some reason, I was thinking of Bob Ross. Not that those two have anything in common at all, uh, aside from the slight similarity in the first word. Anyways, um, let's see. The, uh, the subs will also help with, um, anti-Moab, in a sense, just because they have some generally good, uh, attack speed. Um, and then the ballistic missile, of course, uh, is helpful as well. But with only two subs, it's not a big, big um, support. Um, that's not very good. Uh, let's see, I want to get better lead popping. Even though it's not a huge deal, because once they do get popped, then there's two ninja monkeys right there waiting for them. Um, let's see. And the ballistic missiles do help a little bit with the lead, but not very much. And oh, I'm losing more lives. Um, let's see. Like I said, I want something that can pop lead. So actually I'm going to get a Monkey Apprentice right about here. And then maybe another Monkey Apprentice on the other side, um, just to help out a little bit with lead. Uh, I'm not even going to worry too much about upgrading them. Well, at least not yet. Um, they not only help with the lead popping, but then also the, uh, also, just general track coverage to help the subs a little bit more. Um, okay, so now I'm getting quite a bit more money. I'm going to go up to Monkey Sense so they can help with camo as well. And then um, the Lightning to really help out with the lead. And just any other loons in general. Clumped loons or whatever. Even if it's only small clumps. But anyways, Fireball Monkey Sense. 
Intense magic and lightning in seconds. Damn it! There we go. So I know still that the um, the subs right here on the corners don't have a uh, good lead popping coverage. And let's see, how good is that range? That's true. I probably could have just put them, put the bomb towers around here. Um, but let's see. I kind of don't need the bomb tower now that I have the two wizards, but I still want it um, just to be a bit more safe with the uh, Moabs. And I think I'm actually going to get extra subs to um, to help out not only with the ballistic missiles to get the anti-Moab, but then also just generally faster attack speed or a higher attack rate or whatever. And I'm not upgrading these into Blinjitsu Masters because that's a little bit more expensive than I think I need to spend right now, if that makes sense. That uh, while the Bloom Jitsu Master is really good, uh, it's not my priority at the moment because I've already got four Shuriken. I don't need to necessarily upgrade it into ten. It would be great, of course, but that's like four thousand um, that I could be spending on other defenses to help out a little more in a bit more of a diverse fashion. So I don't need to worry about um, the other types of defenses. And as you can see, the subs are getting pretty good range because <laughs> um, this is round 45 yeah all the pinks leading up to a couple lead and then the um and then the uh what should we call it the moab on the next round and um hyena unfortunately uh the plan was for me to be able to at least test uh, that worked out really well um to at least test out the new pc today but uh some stuff happened and whatnot so it'll be pushed back until next week not sure what day next week. I'd have to double check my schedule, but um, I should potentially be. Um, I'm not specifically getting a new PC next week. I'm discussing the potential of getting a new PC um, next week, so it'll probably work, and I'll probably get one. Um, but it's not a 100% for sure thing. Let's see. And I did actually want to upgrade my mortar. Uh, with the experience, but considering how difficult this track was, it wasn't super difficult. I have not yet lost uh, 50 lives, but um, yeah, might as well upgrade the Bunjutsu Masters. Um, and then it's really bugging me that I only have one cluster bomb uh, while everything else is symmetrical, so. Huzzah! Well, actually, I still need the missiles. But, um, before, there you go, huzzah! So now everything's more symmetrical. And, uh, yeah. I mean, it's not completely symmetrical, or... Yeah, it is. It's just, um, symmetrical over the, um, the XY axis, or the 180 degree. It's not specifically symmetrical over the X axis, or the Y axis, but, uh, flipped it is. Um, because it is one form of symmetry. Um, considering the track itself isn't actually symmetrical over the X or Y axis. But, I mean, it, it is much over the one. You know what I mean. Anyways. Um, huzzah! I have one. <laughs> On easy. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.